Okay guys, very very quick intro into this one. It's the end of the session, I've just finished. As I always say, I've had a really really good day. Oh, been drinking you guys or something? There you go. Yeah, had a really really good session. Good, good, good number of squirrels. And uh, the weather's been lovely. Um, so sit back. Hopefully you enjoy all this, please like and subscribe and make sure you watch right to the end and watch all of my uh, comments at the end that I do. So get halfway through commenting about the session today and another squirrel comes in and we get him a view. So uh, watch all the video if you, uh, if you can, some really good shots and I'll see you all at the end. Thanks for watching guys. Here comes the first one of the day. Now he comes down to behind the, uh, the feeder. And I don't know what he does, he grabs something, or it looks like he grabs a peanut from the side, perhaps, and then he goes up on a branch above the feeder here. And in one of the only spots I can't get a shot at him. So as you can see, he's just behind that branch. I think he's eating a peanut or something by the looks of it. So we just gotta wait for him to finish that one and uh, hope he wants some more. So here he goes. Behind the feeder again, have a view. But this time he just sits up there lovely. And there we go. Good headshot. First one of the day. Very happy with that shot. You just see his foot twitching away there. So here's the next one coming into view. So unfold my stock. You can see him in the bottom left at the moment. He's going down behind the sort of tree. And in a second, you will see him there. Now I can actually see two. There's one to the far left, if I remember rightly, as well. He is actually to my right hand side, as you'll see uh, in just a little bit. Just here, I think it's going to pick something off the floor and have a nibble, maybe. So I zoom in, I think I might get a shot. But nope, it's not ready yet. And I think he's uh, more interested in his collie that's laying on the floor on his back with his legs in the air. And rightly so. So he's probably having a quick twitch of that, but here we go. Comes up to the feeder, grabs a nut, and this one presents himself to the earth with his feet. Wallop. Got a bit of a cling on here. Just his nerves, it's a really good headshot. Starts to do the breakdowns. Signs of a really good headshot. Brain dead, and he bounces down the bank a bit until his nerves finally uh, run out of energy right there. Now, going back to that other one, he stayed over there for quite a few minutes, but at this point, if I remember rightly, yeah, this is the second one. He just comes into view. So there he is. He's actually to the right of the feeder. But he stayed there just way too long. You stay still, you get what's coming to you. And he drops down. Again, good headshot. 
I need to uh, run that steam very quickly. So now I fold the uh, stock up on the FX Dreamline, so the tactical chassis. Just tweak the tripod, fold it up out of the way, it balances very much uh, easier there. And time for a quick coffee. Now this next one, I have been watching for absolute ages at the bottom of the feeder here. And he just will not present himself with a shot. But eventually, in just a second, you'll see. He just lifts his head up above this log. See, I've been waiting for ages, but here we go. I'm thinking, right, that's just enough for me to see to get a, a good head shot. So I take this one, and it's a miss. No idea what happened there. But he scarpers up to the top of the feeder. And no mistake in the follow-up shot. And there he is doing the squirrel break dance. Going down the bank, as they do. So another good head shot. That was a real lucky shot. I took a real risk. <clears throat> I'd taken a pop because his head was just above the log down there and for whatever reason it missed but he went straight up on top of the feeder now the other one that's up in the tree still up there high with his tail going to the desert hopefully yep there he is hopefully here come down. He's been up there for ages. So I'm going to sit here patiently and see what happens. I don't know why I'm not saying anything because there's nothing around in the moment that I've been talking earlier. But yeah, it's a beautiful morning. I could have my chocolate waffle and some coffee. Just sit here, enjoy everything. And if I'm lucky, I might get another grey squirrel come around. So, it's still fairly early in the morning. So I'm just going to sit here. Toes are getting a little cold though. It's definitely turned on the colder side now, so uh, yeah. But lovely and comfy, just gonna sit here, enjoy me waffle, have a coffee, and uh, let's see if any more squirrels come along, eh? So here's a bit of thermal image that I took from the FH25R infrared thermal spotter. Now that's the bottom of the feeder tree and there's this squirrel who's been sat up the top of this tree for absolutely ages and I was panning around you can see uh, a dead squirrel on the floor there and a tiny little sparrow or something in the hedge there and suddenly look he makes a move and I think is he coming? Is he? Yep here he comes Ooh.
that squirrel was sat up at the top of the feeder tree forever. I just stopped all my recordings and thought, well, I can sit back. Then all of a sudden he went for it. But still, he came down and stalled near the bottom of the feeder. Good head shot. He did the old squirrel break dance. Rolled down the bank. He's out for the count. I think that's five now for today, so that's a really good solid number. As I always say, good solid five. Yeah, very happy with that. Time is getting on, but uh, it's so nice. I think I'll give it a, a good half an hour more. But it took a long, long time for that one to come in. It was really fast this morning. Fast and furious, if you like. And then when it warmed up out like this, I thought, oh, we're bound to see a lot more, but it went really quiet. Oh, there's another one coming across the branch over there. Put the recording on, you can see. It's coming across a branch. Right way over there. It's a fever. It's right way over here. Too long, should he? Oh, what a shot! There he goes. That was a really good opportunist one. So that's five, six for today now. Oh, look, he's out. I can see him doing the break dance. It's a good head shot. Bottom of the bank there. Yep. He stopped moving now. Excellent. Okay, six for the day now, guys. Just saying it has really slowed up. And like the buses, two come along all at once. So, uh, yeah, let's give it another half hour or so and see uh, how the morning goes. Right. Coffee going cold, but I got stopped when that squirrel started making me. Right, see you again in a bit, guys. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I think I'm gonna call it a day there at that. Probably stick around as normal, have a coffee or two since the weather is so nice. But uh, quick recap on the morning. Yeah, been a good morning. So we've had five, six, if I've got my count right, this morning. So as I always say, that's a good solid six grey squirrels out of the wood this morning. It's been a lovely morning. I absolutely love it when the weather's like this. And it's really bright and sunny, but kind of cold. Um, toes are got a bit chilly now. But uh, if you're walking around and so on in this weather, it's absolutely beautiful when it's just cold, but really bright and sunny. One of my favorite sort of weathers. Uh, um, the weather's been crap, southwest of uh, England as always, uh, this week floods, all that sort of stuff, but it did say it was going to be good today, so uh, I'm really glad I made the effort to come out, because it has been beautiful this morning. Um, really, really quiet it's been, apart from that first sort of uh, hour or something this morning, when it was a bit 
bit fast and furious if you like I think I shot four squirrels and even a few more came in and disappeared but they've all been really slow coming to the feeder sort of coming in stopping don't even know if they've seen me I'm sure some of them did taking a long time to come to the feeder especially that I think it was the fourth one it sat in the top of the feeder no it's the fifth one wasn't it because I shot four and then it took ages, absolutely ages, which I was quite happy sat here in the uh, in the lovely sort of uh, just thought I saw something, but no, it's a bird going by. Yeah, just um, sat out in this lovely sunshine, although I'm not getting any sunshine. Um, but I waited ages, and then this one came and it stopped in the top of the trees. Maybe it kind of clocked me. It was definitely a bit agitated. Maybe it's the squirrels on the floor. But it stayed there for ages. And then it caught me unawares a bit and it suddenly went down. Hit him really well. Lovely. I was having a chat about you guys and I looked over there. And there was another one, a little thin branch coming over. It just stopped again for ages, so I thought I'll take him out there. Just held a smidgen high because the distance is a bit further. Hit him perfect see one guys this happens every time I'm talking to you don't it sure I could see something in the darkness there man. there's something on the floor bear with me guys we might get another shot in here I've definitely seen something I can see the heat source of a couple of the squirrels on the floor there, but I'm sure I just seen definitely saw a bit of a tail flickering. I can see a heat source behind there, I don't know if that's a dead one or a live one. Let me carry on with today's re oh, yep, yeah, there he is, it's definitely, definitely moving. I might be able to get in there. Bear with me, guys. Oh, no, he's moved, but he's coming towards the feeder. The recording's on, you can see him. He's probably wondering about all the squirrels that were on the floor. I think there's two or three right at the base of the feeder that didn't bounce down the bank. So guys, let's continue with the review of the morning if you like, because he's done what we're all doing, hidden behind that log and everything there. So usual kit. FX Streamline, the Sabre Tactical Chassis, makes it great when I'm just sort of sat down here, I can fold the stock in out of the way. The Wolf 4K just works great for, for my purposes, for recording and putting on YouTube. And at this distance particularly, it's really, really good. Just saw a bit more movement, but it's not there yet. There's just tail flicking around. Where is he going to go? Let's take him. Nope. Back towards the feeder. I've got this little carbon fibre tripod. It works really well because everything I take fits in my backpack, even the rifle. Right, here we go. I can't remember if I loaded it or not. I stopped talking. Oh, yes! Cool, that one hit hard. I really heard that. It's probably because I haven't got my ears covered. There he is. Squirrel breakdowns. Brain dead. Just the back legs flipping away. I always get lucky when I do my recap, don't I, guys? 
always get lucky. So yeah, the Wolf 4K does a brilliant job. I'll stop it recording now. For recording content to put on like YouTube and so on, and especially at short distances. I've got this little carbon fibre tripod. It folds up, the legs go 180 degrees, folds up short, fits in my bag. Folding up the stock, it's got a pouch at the back of the bag. The rifle goes in the bag. The only thing I've got to carry, because I've got to walk all the way to here, is me seat that I sit on and my backpack. So, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's a great result. So what is that? Is that seven today? Well happy with that. I have to go and find them all in a minute. I definitely think I might stay and have a bit more coffee. I might see some more. But uh, another really lovely morning out in the English woodland if you like. Well that's made my morning getting that last one. Infrared FH25 thermal scope spotter laser range finder don't you hear it's brilliant bit of kit oh you see so many squirrels like that so guys what else can I say thanks very much for watching usual thing please give it a like give it a thumbs up got any comments about what I'm doing the kit I'm using show them where they go and I'll get back to you um, if you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe to see plenty more videos like this. If you are a subscriber, thanks very much. It's just the comments and the continued subscribers that make me keep wanting to uh, do this and sort of uh, put it online. So I was only thinking this morning when I was here, and it was such a, a pain I was doing something. I was thinking, why do I always bother? Blah blah blah. It's just so much nicer. Oh, that was it, the batteries. The batteries always go in my action thingies. I checked it last night, had 90% on it. Did one recording. Now battery starts going. So I bought another battery with me. Had to change them, and I'm thinking, why am I bothering doing all this, changing batteries, whatever, when I could just sit here, enjoy myself, shoot at the squirrels, and have a great day. It's only the the comments and the views and everything from you guys enjoying what I'm doing that makes me want to keep sort of doing it so please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you all again all again soon thanks guys okay that's it for this one guys I'll leave with you a few pictures of the kit and some pictures I took at the end of the session and uh, I'll try and get out again soon and see you all very shortly Cheers for now. Thanks very much. Keep safe. Bye-bye.